Yeah, man, I do it for the fam. Trying to put food on my table, going ham. PYT says she knows who I am. What is going on, guys? Resolute Baron here, and today. I'm going to be giving you guys the craziest video probably on my channel. Now, this will probably mark as my favorites on my channel because, guys, I'm bringing you guys basically the video of me, uh, you know, getting the greatest achievement on uh, Pokemon Go. It's the craziest thing I'll probably be doing, and uh, I want you guys to witness it with me. So, right now... I am actually uh, location spoofing, location spoofing on Pokemon Go. And if you guys want to know how to uh, get your game like this, on how to move, and actually I'm in Australia right now. I'm actually in Al Sydney, uh, uh, Sydney, Australia. And right now I'm actually moving without, um, you know, actually moving. And I'm in Sydney, Australia when I'm really recording this video in uh, California, you know, in America. So pretty, <laughs> it's kind of cool kind of a crazy thought and I've actually been farming uh, this whole entire time <laughs> it's honestly so funny because <laughs> there's always lures and <laughs> it's it's so cool and funny because there's always <laughs> oh oh my god that's the funniest thing I've ever seen but guys, like I was saying, there are so many lore modules in Sydney, Australia. If you are ever there, please go to this area. This is the um, the Sydney Opera House where that Lapras um, Team Instinct Battle Gym is. But yeah, guys, go here and literally farm the entire place, you guys. Like, look at all of these... Um, lore modules you guys it is insane so much stuff right here and actually if you can see on the map uh, such a great example there was a dratini right here so that can actually just show you um how much dratini oh that was a horrible throw uh it will actually show you how much dratini spawn in this area and i can't catch this guy god dang it um let's catch him real quick i'm doing horrible hold on let me get a uh, try hard position right here pointer finger and there we go great ball don't have any ultra balls i've been using those catch your teens. but guys like i said there are so many jertinis that spawn here and uh as you guys can see i just got one now so that's gonna add to the jertini candy and as you guys can see i have enough to get dragonite so that is actually literally gonna be the topic of this video i'm going to be getting dragonite today guys and this is probably like i said the biggest achievement on my pokemon go character and uh level 23 i'm halfway to level 24 i want to get to level 25 and get the uh, next pokeball i believe that it is and uh, i heard the max level is 40 so i'm halfway to 40 pretty much so guys if let me just move the uh stick real quick move that up there but guys, there's so many lore modules, it's insane, and uh, I use this to farm Jatinis, so basically this is <laughs> the best strategy to do so. So let's go over here in Pokemon, and I'm actually going to be cleaning out my Pokemon real quick before we do so, but before we actually get a Dragonite, you guys, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more tips like these. I basically just gave it away on how to get the most powerful Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Like, guys, this is insane. Look at all those lore modules, you guys. It's so crazy. And it's like this literally 24-7. Like, if you guys don't believe me, trust me. I would believe me if I were you because I've literally been farming this for the past five days and I already have enough. Now, I would have had, um... Uh, I would have had Dragonite along like two days ago, but I've actually been using a lot of my candy to level up my Dragonair. So as you guys can see, my Dragonair is level CP 1900. So that's going to be super useful once I'm done. Uh, uh, once I'm done, once I evolve them. So, and I'll hopefully have enough to actually power them up Dragonite a little bit. So... I'm going to be clearing out my Pokemon real quick, and like I said, guys, leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy these tips, and basically, the guide on how to get Dragonite, and, uh, it's pretty insane, I also, you can also, there's so much, 
Pokemon that spawns here. Psyducks, Goldines, Poliwraths, Poliwhirls, Poliwags, uh, Magikarp. Um, there's Slowpokes. If you need Slowbro, uh, Shelter, there are Staryu. There are so many um, Pokemon that spawn. I've got a Blastoise here. I found a Blastoise here in Sydney, Australia. And um, I found so much. So many Charmar Charmanders. I was about to say Charizards. I was like, there's no way. So many Charmanders. So many Golducks. Um, that I found Ivysaurs. I found Bulbasaurs. I found Kinglers. I've, there's so much, you guys. I just, guys, like, really? You guys need to go. <laughs> like, there's so much spawning for me right now. Like, as I'm making the video, it's insane. So, uh, excuse me. Let's do this. Let's clear out my Pokemon real quick and uh, clean out my inventory before we go ahead and evolve. I am so excited for this, you guys. I've been waiting so long for this. And I'm basically going to be getting the most powerful Pokemon in Pokemon Go at the current moment in time. Now, obviously, um, everyone's saying it's Mew and Mewtwo, but that's not released yet, so we can't really do anything about it. And I am going to be evolving and I also have the evolved version of Oddish recently just got that Ooh, 100 Pidgey candies that's cool let's first um, let's clear out these Psyducks I get so many Psyducks guys I recommend going um, if you ever do location spoof um, you know it kind of does ruin the game but at this point you guys like I everyone I know and like in person in real life it does agree with me that um, or at least the people I talk to the most uh, do agree with me that if you're above level 20 it's so hard to you know rank up and get better Pokemon because guys literally if you want to complete the game as it is and you don't have money or you can't afford it because I know like I'm not saying all of you don't have enough money I know there are people that maybe can get a flight you know for a couple days somewhere um, if you are, I'd recommend, um, I'd really recommend Australia because there, you know, you can get a Kangaskhan. I've actually seen a Kangaskhan on my radar, but too bad because they took off the, uh, nearby and, uh, the three steps or whatever, the th steps. So, yeah, you can't really do that anymore. Um, but I'd recommend going to Sydney if you do, but I know a lot of you, um, you know are just staying at home or maybe someone uh, is injured maybe you're injured and you can't really go anywhere the uh, location spoofing will really help you out with this and I do have a video on my channel go check that out and if you guys want more methods on how to get um, a hacked Pokemon go subscribe to my channel because I'll be coming out with way more in the future so looks like our Pokemon is our, all of our Pokemon is cleared out and looks like we are ready to evolve our uh dragonair so i'm very excited i can't believe i'm getting this on tape and uh here it is our dragonair so awesome you guys and i actually want to upgrade them real quick before we do so let's see here um i believe i have enough i'll use the rest of my um my stardust for this and one more here there we go okay we are ready let me just, I heard a vibration on the uh, phone. Alright, cool. But guys, like I said, this farm in Sydney, Australia is probably the best I've ever done. I've also done a farm in Hawaii, but that's not as good because Sydney has so many checkpoints um, by each other. And excuse me real quick. Okay. And uh, there's so many checkpoints and lore modules going literally 24-7. And uh, it's crazy, you guys. Okay. Here we go. We're all ready, and this Dragonair is ready to be evolved. So let's do this. Let's do a little uh, countdown here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go, you guys. It is evolving into Dragonite. This is crazy. This is so cool, you guys. I can't believe I'm actually getting this. And, oh my god, there it is, you guys. Dragonite, the most powerful Pokemon in Pokemon Go, let's see what a CP is. Oh my god, I'm kind of nervous. This is so awesome. And as you guys can see, you can see the three birds out there. 2140. Oh my god, that is crazy. I believe you can go higher, but I won't be able to go higher. 
uh, or high as high because I uh, my level is too low but guys there it is the Dragonite that is crazy he looks so happy <laughs> Um, like I said guys, if you do want the other, or I don't know if I've said this before, if you guys want the other, um, you know, the other, uh, the other dragon, the other more powerful dragon in, uh, Pokemon Go, then you want to get Charizard, that's the more mean and angry and vicious, uh, dragon, and, uh, yeah, but, oh my god, this is awesome, it's like a little, like a happy teddy bear dragon, that's so cool, Dragonite, um, 210 weight, uh, 122 HP, and 2.09 height, and he has 2,140 combat power. This is definitely going to my favorites. Wow, he's already at uh, the top of my combat power list, and he's dragon and flying type. Uh, he has two moves, a steel move, which is steel wing for 15 damage, that's crazy, and dragon claw. Uh, for a dragon move, which is 35, which is not bad, I guess. I don't know. I'll have to try it out. And, uh, but yeah, there it is, Dragonite. Wow, that's so crazy seeing that in my Pokedex here. That is so awesome, you guys. Wow. Who thought? But, uh, yeah, I am in Sydney, Australia, you guys, where I did get my, uh, my Dragonite. I kind of want to battle with him, but I, he's like so rare. One, oh my god, there's a Bulbasaur right there. Let's go take it over. I just want to try battling with him real quick, you know? Something pretty cool. This, this Bulbasaur is going to get taken out really quickly here. I'm just going to wait it out. But yeah, guys, I'm actually at the Opera House in Sydney, Australia right now. A lot of, um, a lot of Jatinis do spawn right here where I'm tapping. Um, so I'd recommend farming. Just farm this whole like row of um, of of lore modules. Just keep going like in a row. Um, after you get a lot of them, like go out and onto the parks. There's a bunch of parks in front of me right here where I'm tapping on the screen. But uh, if you just keep going that way, then definitely go and check all that out. So, oh, is a 2930 Dragonite? Yeah. Um, wow. Well, that uh, guy's level 29. I'm not going to battle that. Um, but yeah, guys, that is actually insane. I have Dragonite. That's so crazy. Um, let's check it out one more time. Ah, oh, that's so beautiful. God, man. Dragonite. That's crazy. Guys, leave a like for get me getting Dragonite. And also share the video with your friends. You know, let them know how to get Dragonite. And uh, let your family and friends know how to get literally the most powerful... Pokemon in the game. I have the most powerful Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Like, there's there's a Dragonite. There's two Dragonites in front of me. There's another one uh, right behind me right there. And there's literally... They're everywhere, you guys. There's Dragonites everywhere you look in this game. There's uh, two right there. There's another... Ooh, that guy actually weaseling a Vaporeon. But, <laughs> yeah, guys. That's, that's so awesome, you know. I'm really just... I just keep going on this video. But, you know, it is what it is. And... Uh, let's look at my Pokedex real quick, see how that looks. I still need Venusaur, uh, or Venusaur, and uh, I need Charizard, but besides that, I uh, have almost all of the Pokemon. I need Alakazam, Machoke, and the uh, Bellsprout Evolution. Um, I don't know what, uh, right here, that's a Muck, that's a Hypno. Hitmonchan, or I think that's Hitmonlee, and Lickitung, Weasling, um, so much Pokemon, you guys, so much more I have to get, and Dragonite right here, that is crazy, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite, but as you guys saw, um, when I was evolving him, you guys saw the three legendary birds and Mewtwo, so that does actually confirm that they are in the game, and I'll make another video on something that's been going on recently with the legendary birds, and um, you guys will probably see that after this video or in the next couple videos I'll be posting. But yeah, that is absolutely crazy, you guys. Let's actually read the description of Dragonite real quick. Dragonite is capable of circling the globe in just 16 hours. It is a kind-hearted Pokemon that leads uh that leads lost and foundering ships in a storm to the safety of land 
So, Dr Dragonite seems like such a, uh, such a, um, you know, such a kind uh, and nice dragon uh, Pokemon there. So, that's awesome, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, again, you guys, um, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. And if you guys did enjoy that awesome tip and uh, basically showing you guys how to get Dragonite um, in less than seven days, in less than a week, then uh, drop a like on the video and also subscribe for more content. Like I said, you guys, there's this huge park right here as well. And uh, go check that out in Sydney, Australia. I also have another video on how to location spoof in Pokemon Go. So, like I said, you guys, subscribe to the channel if you guys want more of these hacking videos on your Pokemon Go. Or as well as your phone, you know, I show you guys how to screen record. And that's so awesome. And, uh, yeah, also share the video with your friends and family on how to get Dragonite in less than a week. And as well as commenting down below what you guys think about this uh, little um, farm or nest about uh, Dratinis or Dragonairs. So thank you all so much for watching and like I said, see you later.